Hello everybody, in today's lesson, lesson 4.9, we're going to work with problem solving and we're on page 205 of the second grade Go Math textbook and our essential question that you should be able to explain when we're finished with today's lesson is how can drawing a diagram help when solving addition problems? Okay, and for the most part, the per diagram we're going to use today is the bar models that we practiced in earlier lessons. All right, so let's look at this question. Kendra had 13 crayons. Her dad gave her some more crayons. Then she had 19 crayons. How many crayons did Kendra's, Kendra's dad give her? Okay, so we know that Kendra had 13 crayons and her dad gave her some more, so then she had 19. All right, what do I need to find? How many crayons her father gave her? So we can go ahead and trace that. Okay, how many crayons Kendra's dad gave her? What information do I need to use? Well, we need to know that she started with 13 crayons. And then after her father gave her some more crayons, she had 19. All right, so we know that there are 19 crayons in all. So if we combine these two boxes, they have to add up to 19. So an addition problem for this could be 13 plus what is 19. So if we had this stack like our regular addition problem that we've been practicing, we have to come up with a number here that would give us nine ones. I know it's not more, 10 or more, because my answer has one 10 and 13 already has one 10. So they didn't add any more to the tens. So three plus what is nine? Well, that's the same thing as saying nine minus three. So if you're at nine and you have to take away three, you'd be at six. So 13 plus six is 19. All right, let's look at page 206. Label the bar model and write a number sentence. Sorry about that. Write a number sentence with a square for the missing number and then solve. Keep in mind, what do I need to find and what information do I need to use? So Mr. Kane has 24 red pens. He buys 19 blue pens. How many pens does he have now? Okay, so we need to find out how many pens he has now after buying the 19 blue pens. So don't we need 24? and 19 and this is what we need to find combined will tell us this missing number so what's the number sentence 24 plus the 19 that he bought will equal some amount okay well how can we rewrite this number sentence we can rewrite it like that right lining up the ones, lining up the tens. So nine plus four, that's 13, correct? So we have to regroup 10 ones for a 10, leaving us three ones. So now add the tens. Two plus one is three, plus the regrouped 10 is 40, is four. Four tens is 40, so 43 pens. So if we put these together, it has a com combination of 43. Okay, Hannah has 10 pencils. Jim and Hannah have 17 pencils altogether. How many pencils does Jim have? So Hannah has 10, and together they have 17. So again, let's fill in the parts of this bar model. We know this box plus this box has to equal this. Well, they have 17 pencils all together. 
So we know the total amount. We also know Hannah's amount. She had 10. So our number sentence is 10 plus Jim's amount equals 17. So that's what it would look like if we were adding vertically. But remember that 10 plus what equals 17 is the same as saying 17 minus 10 is what? So zero plus what would give me seven ones? Seven, right? Okay. So Jim has seven pencils. 10 plus seven is 17. I could have written it like this. 17 minus one of the add-ins will give us the missing add-in. Seven take away zero is seven and 110 take away 110 is zero. So we just wind up with seven. Right, let's look at page 207. Okay, again, label the bar model and write a number sentence with a square for the missing number and then solve. Amy and Matthew catch, catch 17 crickets in all. Amy catches nine crickets. How many crickets does Matthew catch? Okay, so I definitely want to underline what I need to find. I need to find out how many crickets Matthew caught. Okay, now I, let's go back and circle the important information I know. So together, Amy and Matthew caught 17 together. Amy caught nine of them. Okay, so if we combine these two boxes, we're going to get a total of 17. We know that Amy caught nine of them. We have to find this one. So what's our number sentence? Nine plus something will equal 17. Nine plus what is 17? The same thing as saying 17 minus nine. Okay, so nine, if I add one, I'm at 10. 10 plus what is 17? Seven. So 9 plus 1 gives us 10. 10 plus 7 gives us 17. So 7 plus 1 is 8. He found 8 crickets. Percy counts 16 grasshoppers at the, at the park. He counts 15 grasshoppers at home. How many grasshoppers does Percy count? So let's underline what we have to find. We have to find how many grasshoppers Percy counted. Well, we know he found counted 16 at the park. He counted 15 at home. Okay, well, the total amount that he found at the park plus what he found at home will give us our total. So 16 plus 15. equals some amount. Okay, well, six and five. I know five plus five is 10, plus the extra one from the six gives us 11 ones. That means we're gonna have to regroup 11 ones as one 10 and one one. Add the ones. One and one is two, plus the regroup 10, three. So he found or counted 31 grasshoppers. Number five, there are three groups of owls. There are 17 owls in each of the first two groups, and there are 47 owls in all. How many owls are in the third group? What do I need to find? I need to find out how many owls are in the third group. Well, I know that the first two combined have 17 owls, and I know that there are 47 owls in all. So let's see. 
Can I use a bar model to solve this? We should be able to. Okay, so I know this box plus this box equals the total. 47 owls in all. Okay. And the first two found 17. So what's our number sentence? Well, it's going to be 17 plus something equals 47. Okay, 17 plus what gives me 47? Well, 7 plus what's going to give me 7? Zero, right? Okay. And 110 plus how many tens will give me four tens? Three tens. So 30. So there's got to be 30 owls in the third group. Page 208. A writer draw to explain there are 37 paper clips in the box. How many paper clips? I'm sorry. And 24 paper clips on the table. How many paper clips in all are there? So that's what we need to find out. How many paper clips in all? We know that there's 37 in the box and 24 on the table. And we know that if we combine the amount that's in the box and the amount that's on the table, we'll find the total amount. So that's an addition problem, right? 37 plus 24 equals what? Okay, well, let's rewrite the problem like we did in our last lesson so that we're adding vertically. 7 plus 4. Well, 7 plus 3 is 10. 4 is one more than 3. So 7 plus 3 is 10, plus 1 more is 11. Regroup that as 1 10 and 1 1, and now add the 10s. 3 plus 2 10s is 5 10s, plus the regroup 10 is 6. So there are 61 paper clips in all. Make sense of problems. Hmm. Jeff has 19 postcards and 2 pens. He buys 20 more postcards. How many postcards does he have now? How many postcards does he have now? That's what I need to find, right? Do I need to find out how many pens he has? No. So I don't need this two pens. I do know, know, need to know that he had 19 and then he bought 20 more. So I know that the 19 he had plus the 20 that he buys will tell me how many postcards he has now. So our number sentence for this problem will be 19 plus 20 equals a total amount. Well, this is a fairly easy problem. I don't need to rewrite it, correct? I can just focus on the tens because there aren't any ones. So I know I'm going to have nine ones no matter what. So two tens plus one ten is three tens, 39 postcards. Number eight, Alicia drew 15 flowers. Marie drew four more flowers than Alicia drew. How many flowers did they draw? Okay, don't overlook that word they. Okay, it doesn't wanna know how many Marie drew. It wants to know both of them. So we know that Alicia drew 15, right? Now Marie drew four more than Alicia. Well, what's 15 plus four? 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, correct? All right. And we know that we have to combine them because it says how many flowers did they draw? Alicia 
Anne Marie. Okay, so our number sentence would be 15 plus 19 equals some total number of flowers. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this so it's vertical. Okay, 9 plus 5. Well, I can split the 5 in my head as 1 and 4. The reason I would do that is because 9 plus 1 is 10. So 10 plus 4 is 14, which means we're going to regroup 14, uh, 10 of the 1s as a 10, leaving us 4 1s. Now I add the 10s. 1 and 2 plus the regroup 10 gives us 3. So they drew 34 flowers. And the last one. There are 23 books in a box. There are 29 books on a shelf. How many books are there? All right, that's what I have to find, right? How many books are there? Well, there's 23 in a box. And there's 29 on a shelf. Well, what, if I combine those, doesn't it tell me how many books there are? Yeah, it does, right? So I can use the diagram again. 23 and 29. And I know that if I combine them, it'll give me the total amount. So it would be 23 plus 29 equals some number of books. And I'm going to restack that, or rewrite, I'm sorry, so that it is stacked vertically. 9 and 3, I can break up the 3 in my head as 1 and 2. 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 2 more is 12. Regroup that as 1, 10 and two ones, and now add the tens. Two and two is four tens, plus the regroup ten gives me five tens. So, 52. Okay. So, the use of bar models can help us with our addition because we can visually see what we need to do. Remember that when the boxes are right next to each other, that means that we have to combine them to find the total amount. If one of them is missing, we can think of it as a subtraction problem. All right, so that's it for lesson four, nine. So until our next lesson, I will see you soon.